Hey guys, today's video is about how to write text around a circle in Affinity Designer and we're using Affinity Designer version 2 for this, but you can also do the same with Affinity Designer version um, 1 and we're starting with a new clean document and starting with a circle. So we go to the um, ellipse tool right here, holding down shift to create a perfect ellipse, which is a circle and then filling it with a good visible color, for example, red moving in the middle of our object by having snapping activated. And the first thing you need to do is now select the artistic text tool. If you have the frame text tool here, click on this little corner right here and click on an artistic text tool. You can also use the shortcut T if you have selected or visible the artistic text tool like this. And what we have to do next is we have to hover over the um, um, the curves of the ellipse of our circle. You can use this um, with any shape you want to, so you are not bound to circles. You can use ellipse, rectangles, and so on, triangles, whatever you want to. And now hover over the curve till you see this little symbol and simply click. Sometimes uh, you don't have the um, writing um, um, position you want to have. You can use command set to go back one step like this or command shift and set to go one step um, um, to the front again. And if you're using a Windows PC, simply use control instead of command. And after that, adjust where you want to start your text and where you want to end your text. Um, you have to be um, careful because if you go too wide, it will go inside of the circle as here. So we're going like this and writing now and um, write text around circle. And now we have to adjust our circle, our circle text right here. We have to select the text. We can choose a font we want to. For example, I've chosen Corona 1 and we can set up the PT, the size, for example, to 25 PT. And now, as you can see, we don't have the text perfectly around the circle. So we need to adjust it um, more. So we select the text again. We go to this little feature right here go to justification, make all of them to the um, bottom, which is the minimum. So like this and the maximum to the maximum, just that we have it easier to adjust. And this is the, um, these are the um, fields where we can adjust the text, how it should look like. So not the minimum and maximum, how it should like exactly. So you can hover over it to see, to see the function, the side word spacing and the side letter spacing. So we're adjusting the word spacing, for example, to 110% or 120, 120%, clicking enter. And now we have to adjust the um, desired letter spacing. So we have the exact same spacing right here as between the words and yeah, that's what we have to do. So we go with, for example, 10% and we take a look and it seems to be pretty the same like here and here, maybe go up to 11% and we can check back. We can click on the X, we can go with our move tool and click in here and see, okay, we need maybe one, 2% more. We can double click and select again, go to this feature again and use, for example, 13%, check back with X and here, and it seems pretty good. What we can do now, we can simply click on our text, convert curves, open the group and click on the first curve, hold down shift on the last one and go to Boolean operations, add and have it in one curve. We can move it outside of the group and delete. Um, but keep in mind, if you don't convert to curves and you're changing the um, size of the circle, the text doesn't uh, adjust to the size. So you have to um, re-space the letters, the words, and even um, um, size the text to fit the circle again. But by converting to curves, we can now resize without losing our shape. So we have to press shift because we have a curve, otherwise we would change the proportions. But so we can adjust without losing this circle effect. If you are um, keeping the circle, keep in mind to adjust the text, red letter and word spacing after resizing the circle. So we can move this inside. We can also give it a cool color, for example, something like this and also um, give some shadow if you want to, to make it pop out of the background. So we go to outer shadow, black 50, 
50 and 50 again and 315 degrees angle to have it pop out maybe a little bit um, darker and yeah that's gonna do for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye